So World of Warcraft came out about 20 years ago. I was 11 when the game first came out and the cultural impact it had back in those days was bigger than you might think it was. The game was referenced a lot in media, especially TV. My favorite was always that South Park episode. All right, I'm in. Dude, I'm almost dead. Kyle, cast arcane missiles. I'm out of mana, I told you. I've got to heal. Stan! Dad? Not now! Stan! I've been sent here to bring you this. The game was even referenced in Family Guy. Brandon, let's go! Stick to the plan! Let's go! Let's go! Ah oh, man! Ah, oh, we're dying! Damn it, Cleveland! Where'd they get dragons? These guys have magic, guys! Oh, God. But one of the shows I was surprised to see it pop up in was How I Met Your Mother. World of Warcraft? The online role-playing game? That's how you two met online? <laughs> So me being a big fan of fantasy and nerdish, the game always intrigued me but my family didn't really have money so a PC and a monthly subscription to an MMO was out of the question. Fast forward to 31 year old me with adult money and no kids, my inner child is getting to relive and buy what it desires and lately one of those desires was to play the infamous World of Warcraft for the very first time. So as the game starts, we're greeted with this beautiful cinematic cutscene and that immediately gets me hyped because I was thinking, I know these won't be the actual graphics, but I can imagine they've gotten some nice upgrades over the last few years. So that hope flew out the window pretty quick. But either way, I start creating my character and after a long indecisive process, I just go with a buffer, ruggedier version of myself. We load into the official game and it's uh, it, it looks okay-ish. I don't like judging games right off the bat on graphics. I play a lot of indie games and graphics aren't that important. But I just would have thought that by this point they would have been upgraded more seeing how successful this game has been. But we digress. The controls feel pretty smooth to be honest. I'm not a huge PC gamer as I've only really owned my PC for like 2 years. And in those 2 years I haven't really explored many mouse and keyboard games. So I haven't mastered that craft. However, I feel like these controls, just like other MMOs, are fairly simple and easy enough to get used to. So I practice my new little spells, our ship sank or something, and then my fetch quests begin. Fighting the first handful of enemies was pretty cool. I wasn't a big fan of the wait time that my frost attack took. Feels very vulnerable loading up an attack while an enemy stares at you, <laughs> but the other attacks were pretty cool. So we continue to fight some more creatures, I click through some dialogue, then I get helicoptered around for some nice scenery. Helicopter, helicopter. I see a huge horde of enemies so we realize we're going to need a giant boar to plummet through this army of enemies and to be honest stomping these dudes was pretty satisfying. So after freeing the captain's son, I go off and do some more quests. I free some folks from some disgusting spiders who I absolutely detest but I got to escape on this silly moose. Then I go and fight off some harpy lady sisters and win me some dual chips, so wait, huh? I then get turned into Shrek in order to sneak into this ogre camp who are trying to summon a dragon, but they need to sacrifice some monsters since it's level eight and, oh wait. So after stopping the ogres and the dragon, I finally fly away to my new home where the game officially begins. Now I know there's other options to do online raids and whatnot and even some PvP stuff. I haven't really explored those quite yet. I played and recorded this footage about a month ago actually and I haven't really picked the game back up yet. I'm still on the fence about wanting to spend my free time getting into it. I feel like it would be more fun if you have at least a friend or two that you can take on this journey with you. But I definitely see why people have been hooked on this game for the last 20 years because only about 2-ish hours in, I find myself randomly thinking about the game and saying, uh, I kind of want to get back into it. So if you were to ask me if WoW is worth getting into in 2024, I'd probably say yes, but it would be better with a friend. Just. Just don't ask me how to get one of those because uh, I don't know. <laughs>